Well, 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 so it seems the legacy continues. Today we're gonna be doing a hardcore Pokemon Nuzlocke, only using Black Shinies and Pokemon Violet. Yeah, it's pretty insane, but we're just gonna do this like we did this last video. Like I said in the last video, for the sake of time, and you'll find out at the end of the run that it still took a long time. We're gonna be using a Shiny Charm, and we're gonna be using Shiny Sandwiches for all of the Pokemon we're receiving. This reduces the odds from 1 in 4096 to 1 in 1024. But because of this, we have a set of rules to make this a little bit more interesting. So rule number one, I can only encounter shiny Pokemon in the wild. Rule number two, I can only have one species of Pokemon per run. Rule number three, we can only use black shiny Pokemon. Rule number four, we're playing with traditional Pokemon Nuzlocke rules, but I'm only leveling up my Pokemon six levels above the gym leader's ace, just so we can see more shiny evolutions through the run. And of course, rule number five, you gotta like and subscribe if you're new, if you enjoyed the video at any point. That being said, let's jump into the video. Now, of course, we start the game, you know, we have to pick our starter and everything, but when we turn around, yeah. Uh, these Pokemon, pretty positive they're shiny locked, but on top of that, they don't even turn into black shiny, so it's looking like it's gonna be one of those videos. <sighs> So for our first black shiny Pokemon we're gonna get, we're gonna go ahead and get a Roka D. Alright, actually change the plans, uh, we're playing Pokemon Scarlet, just because. And we immediately got a shiny Roka D. Oh, snap. <laughs> Yo, I, I didn't even give myself a sandwich or anything yet. Like, I just have this shiny charm. So the fact that we found one already is pretty insane. Okay, well, <laughs> I was anticipating for that to take a lot longer than it did. We literally got this, like, this is <laughs> this is the first freaking Rokadi we encountered. But unfortunately, oh, uh, damn, it looks like it has a neutral nature and it's docile. Uh, that kind of sucks, but <laughs> I'm not complaining. We literally just got a shiny and like 10 minutes i thought that was gonna take a long longer right now it's time to catch another shiny pokemon wait a second is that a shiny tokyo treat in sakura ko before we get any further into the video we have to thank today's sponsor tokyo treat in sakura ko these two companies allow you to experience japan from the comfort of your own home by providing japanese snack boxes Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box, providing 20 exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. While Sakura Ko is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box, providing 20 traditional, authentic, and artesian Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and special Japanese tableware. This month's theme for Tokyo Treat is Fireworks Flavor Fest, while Sakura Ko's theme is Festivals of Okinawa. They both provide you with booklets so you can learn more about the snacks, as well as allergen information. They also include pages of information about Japanese culture. And I was personally able to enjoy these snacks. I never had any Japanese culture snacks before, so this was my first experience. And all the snacks that I ate were absolutely delicious. There wasn't anything that I didn't like. I would definitely recommend getting this if you like to try new things, specifically international food. And I'm not gonna lie, this cookie right here was so delicious that I had to eat it while recording. It was just, ugh, man. I never had a cookie like that with this like texture and like the flavors was just unique. It tasted like a caramel wafer, but a little less sweet than your traditional cookies. Of course, I tried the tea and it was very high quality. If you love tea, you're definitely going to love that. Here, I tried one of the most appealing items inside of the box, the salt lemon Kit Kat. That's what the package looks like. Mmm. Mmm. Hold up. Mmm. Oh yeah. The Kit Kats really tasted like a lemon pound cake. It was something I never had before, but I really wish we had over here because that thing is delicious. Not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna be nasty, but it's delicious, holy smokes. I can eat the whole pack of that. Make sure to hit the first link in the description or the pinned comment below to get a percentage off your first monthly subscription. I genuinely believe that Tokyo Treat and Sakura Ko could be an amazing gift for your friends and family, or if you just like trying new snacks and international snacks in general. Thank you, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Ko for sponsoring this video. But now let's jump right back into the video. And that now means we can release our starter Pokemon. Ah! Finally, I can get rid of this stupid Lechonk on my goddamn team. And I'm not gonna lie, it's probably not the best idea getting another flying type, but we really don't have a choice right now. We need some more Pokemon. So for the next black shiny I'm going for is gonna be Oricorio. It doesn't matter because we're not going to progress even further into the game until we get this black shiny on our team. That right there is the Pokemon that we're gonna need. And by opening 
opening up the picnic table, making a sandwich, entering creative mode. We can put this piece of meat. I don't even know how to say it. Pros Keto? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Somebody's gonna tell me in the comments, though. And then two Salty Herb Mystica's. Originally, you cannot get these in the game until, like, you beat the game, but I'm using it so we have a higher chance to encounter shiny Pokemon in order to make this be done in a reasonable amount of time. We can eat it, and just like that, our encounter power for shiny flying types has increased. It does not take that long. Hopefully, this is why I have a YouTube video up right now. Oh, we got it. Okay, that didn't take that that much time at all. And there's another shiny Roki D right there too. Oh, snap. <laughs> Yo, we're getting super lucky. Go ahead and throw that quick ball at Oricorio. Ah, oh, damn. It didn't get caught. Please don't kill my Pokemon. Okay, this Pokemon is very strong. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, we're gonna have to run away. <gasps> oh my god boys it looks like we we lost our first attempt god damn it fortunately on the bright side uh we could just reset the game to uh <laughs> where we last were unfortunately we're gonna have to hunt those shiny pokemon again and god knows how long that's gonna take we got pretty lucky that we got our roki d in like the span of freaking 10 minutes but we're gonna have to do some more hunting and what really sucks about resetting is that we have this goddamn lechonk on our team again i fucking hate this pokemon yeah, and it's definitely looking like we're not getting as lucky as the first time. <laughs> all these Rokidis are not shiny at all. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I must have got extremely lucky the first time because <laughs> holy crap, man. I've been running around looking for a goddamn shiny Rokidi. Oh my goodness. Who would have thought being reset would be so goddamn painful? <gasps> Wait, speak of the devil. Holy smokes. We got one. Let's freaking go. You already know, throw that quick ball. This time it's a male. And the quick ball is successful. We get another Rokidi. This is the second time catching this goddamn Pokemon. But we most definitely got it on our team. And I'm gonna name it Rummy. Just because, uh, yeah, it's a whole different Pokemon. You know what that means. This is definitely gonna be the my most favorite part of the video. Releasing this piece of shit right here. And we can go ahead and release our starter. And let's go ahead and check Rummy. And it looks like we got unlucky again. Because this one has a serious nature. <laughs> Oh hell no, come on bruh. It's not bad, but uh, come on. This now means we can go get another Oricorio and uh, we have to approach this a lot differently because this Pokemon can be level 15. I mean, to compensate, we can go ahead and evolve Rummy into a black shiny Pokemon. Yeah, this, this one definitely counts. I would definitely say it counts, especially since it gets darker in its next evolution. But having this Pokemon be level 18 will definitely give us a higher chance of not dying instantly. Fortunately, I still have the sandwich activated, so we can get one now. Oh, look, we got super unlucky. Looks like we got our first Pokemon in the unfortunate box. This is probably stupid. Okay, wait, you know what I'm gonna do? Most likely just lost that shiny, which kind of sucks because I do want to catch all the shiny Pokemon we can get, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy some Poke Dolls. So that situation that happened last time does not happen again. And I want to challenge you guys. I want, I want you guys to count all the shiny Pokemon that we encountered. And best believe, since this is a live commentary, I'm going to be make sure we don't miss a single shiny Pokemon. But the grind continues, boys. Oh, it looks like we got our first unfortunate shiny Pokemon that so, so happened to be a black shiny. This level 14 Rokidi, it's a female. Let's go ahead and throw a quick ball. Hopefully, it doesn't have enough power to, like, kill me. Instantly caught. That's what we would like to see. I decided to name it Rumi. If it is a better Rokidi, best believe, I'm swapping it out. Trust me. So, it looks like we actually got a Pokemon with a nature. It's a, a naive, which means the speed is higher, but a special defense sucks. Will I swap it out? I think I am, actually. So, we can go ahead and evolve this Pokemon into Corvus Wire or whatever his name is. I forgot. Oh, snap. We got one. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to encounter this Oricorio from behind. Oh, come on. Oh, damn. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a quick ball at it, and if it does not get caught, I'm gonna just use a Poke Doll. Okay, it, it's not doing that much damage this time around. Oh my goodness, this sucks. Please just get in a ball, Oricorio. I know you have like full HP, you're level 17, like you're fully evolved Pokemon. Like, 
Please don't kill me. Oh, okay. Look, look, this is what we're gonna do. You see this bad boy right here? Yeah, we're using a Poke Doll. <laughs> we're not taking the chance. We're not taking a chance. And now we can just get outside the battle and heal. And I guess we could try again. There we go. Because, look, we can heal outside of battles, but not inside battles. That's just how Nuzlocke's work. But now we have a higher chance to catch it because we can use a Quick Ball, which is like five times catch rate. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that shit doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, he crit me. Okay, bruh. It is time to use another Poke Doll. Oh my goodness. Yo, this Pokemon does not want to get in the ball, bruh. It, it, it's literally nighttime now. We're going to be catching this goddamn shiny Pokemon until the sun comes up. Even a Dust Ball didn't work. But I'm still going to throw an Ultra Ball and hope that it doesn't use... Oh, uh, wait, it may use Air Cutter because it's going to kill me. Please. Okay, we caught it. We don't even have to worry about it because we finally got it. God dang, that took so long. But we finally got Oricorio. One of the coolest flying type pokemon in my opinion ever even though it's just like a dancing pokemon but hey and i'm gonna go ahead and name this pokemon olay our brand new olay right here is one of the coolest black shiny pokemon we can get especially since it's the beginning of the game and we actually have a relaxed nature which i'm cool with because it's plus defense even though like this defense isn't traditionally good you know i can dig with it you know what i'm saying like this now means we have two black shiny pokemon on our team and i guess i'm pretty confident to go against katie now looking at katie's team yeah she has some pretty decent bug type pokemon and then a teddy ursa that terrestrializes into a bug type but i'm pretty positive with our team right here we should be able to take her down after a whole entire reset and searching for essentially four shiny pokemon we are here at katie's gym this took a long ass time, especially since you know the beginning of the game of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is fucking horrific. We immediately start the battle with Katie. She sends out her Nimble, of course, and we go ahead and send out Olay, our black shiny Pokemon. Holy shit, that Pokemon looks amazing. Yo, Katie, why you on my dick? Anyways, yeah, we're just gonna start the battle by air cuttering. And yeah, that, that shit just, <laughs> that shit goes down instantly. Next, the Tarantula comes out. And I mean, we're just gonna air cut her again. And we're able to one-shot that, too. Awesome. Oh, you think you're hot shit? You think you're that nigga, huh? Go, Teddy Ursula! We're just gonna go ahead and use Air Cutter. Oh, it's not over yet, bitch! I'm terrestrializing this bitch right now! Go! Teddy Ursula bug type terrestrialization form! Oh my god, why'd you say all that? Anyways, we outspeed her and use Air Cutter, and oh, she survives on 1 HP as she uses Furious Water. Oh my god. I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad. Well, that means we can outspeed her, and we literally don't even get touched and destroy all of her goddamn Pokemon immediately. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, I can't believe I just lost to a fucking black bird. What the f*** is this shit? You're at Pokemon, by the way. You're lucky. That's why you increase the level cap to be able to beat all these gems easily. No, th th that's not why I'm choosing to do this. The reason why I'm increasing the level cap is so we can use more Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not taking that bullshit. Ultimately, you're a bitch. Okay, well, it's looking like we completed the first gym. Now we gotta go against Brassius, and he is all grass type Pokemon, and his last Pokemon has like super high defense and a rock move that can destroy my team right now. So I'm gonna go see if I can get another black shiny Pokemon to help me do this. And I'm not gonna lie, Katie was onto something, but hey, let's be real. You guys just wanna see some awesome ass black shiny Pokemon. I mean, like, look at these shits. They're awesome. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> Yo, I'm getting blinded why is it so bright oh my god this game is ass yo we're gonna need a ep epilepsy warning after seeing that shit i just witnessed god i don't even know what that is it's gone now wait a second wait i'm getting a phone call oh snap god just called me oh oh okay uh all right so i just had a conversation with god and he told me if you're new to the channel you gotta subscribe especially if you're enjoying this video so far these videos take 40 to 150 hours just to make so it would be much appreciated if you do and if you're already subscribed hey you already know if you're liking this video so far you gotta leave a like i mean like come on even god approves of the videos he's standing behind me right now hell, hell yeah, yeah you, you already know you gotta, gotta subscribe to my new watch and you'll be putting, putting in that pain for y'all but, but hey you, you know well, I, I am god, god so i just, I just gotta, gotta let everybody Everybody know, know who's, who's watching, watching right, right now? now? I, I love, love you. you. Shout out to my nigga God. He over here doing us good. You know what I'm saying? You guys heard him. I definitely got to thank you for being in this bit. Oh, no oh, worries. You, you already know, know I got, got you. you. All right, All right I'm going to talk, talk to you, to you later. later.
So finally, we made it to the second gym. And I'm not gonna lie, yeah, this video, we're just gonna be doing the gym leaders because unfortunately, there's just not that many black shiny Pokemon. So yeah, it would actually be hell if we did the whole entire game. So now it's time to take on Brassius. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, I have no idea if we're gonna be able to actually beat this dude or not because the pseudo Wudu is gonna be a big threat. But I have a little plan against his Pokemon. He sends out Petalee as we send out Arumi. And we're going to immediately use Taunt. Knowing that this Pokemon is sleep powder and could put me to sleep and get free damage on me. Just like that, we avoid the sleep powder and I think I'm going to try to max out my attack with Home Claws. It may be a stupid idea and I may lose a Pokemon in this battle, but we gotta take the chance. Petalee does not do enough damage to me because we resist his Mega Drain. So that essentially means we can get plus three right here for free. Hopefully they don't get any like unlucky crits because we're definitely gonna need all of our HP. And we're plus four now, plus five. We take another Mega Drain. We're getting at, we're at half HP right here, but we are plus six now, meaning that we're max attack. Oh, I forgot the taunt wear off, but we, we got super lucky. As you can see right here, our attack is fully maxed out. We should be able to outspeed this pedally right here and one shot it. I'm pretty sure just like two of them would have been good enough. But now the Smolov comes out. And Smolov isn't that defensive or even a good Pokemon. So we're able to just absolutely destroy that. Now the biggest threat comes out. Yes, it's a big threat indeed. Go Pseudo Wudo. This shit. <laughs> this, this Pokemon is hella defensive. And I have no idea if we're going to be able to take down the Pseudo Wudo. It has Rock Throw and it can absolutely destroy me. Yes, yes sir. sir. It, can it can destroy, destroy you. you. Pseudo Wudo. I'm, I'm terrestrializing this bitch right, right now into a grass type. As we outspeed them and use Pluck, and I forgot they had Sturdy. Yes, sir. You already know. <laughs> it's over. Oh, he uses Trailblaze. Meaning he's most likely going to be faster than me. Oh, this sucks. This is really bad, boys. I should have used Fury Attack. Oh my goodness, I should have used Fury Attack. Well, we outspeed them still and we beat the Pseudo Wudo. <laughs> Let's freaking go, boys. Oh my goodness. I was sure we were gonna lose a Pokemon there. I had a long pause and everything. Oh my goodness. But we managed to get the second gym batch without losing a single Pokemon. And it looks like the strategy of just maxing out our attack was the move. And I could have probably avoided popping the sturdy on that pseudo Wudo by just using fairy attack. Unfortunately, I did not think of doing that. All right, so for the next gym leader we have to go against, we gotta go against Iono. And it's infamous in every single one of my goddamn playthroughs that this lady is so hard to go against. It really sucks. She just has some strong ass freaking Pokemon, man. So I have a couple of ideas that we can make come to reality to help us win against Iono. And on top of that, we got to go against Nimona before then. And yeah, if we don't have any good Pokemon, we're just going to lose. Especially us only having two shiny black birds that will absolutely get destroyed by electric type moves. I kid you not. I was just walking around and look what we found. Yep, it's a shiny Mareep. Let's fucking go, boys. This is one of my favorite Pokemons of all time. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it is a pink shiny and not a black shiny, so we can't use it. <sighs> this is the first Pokemon that we have on our team, other than the other Rokadi that we got. That is forced to go into the unfortunate box. It's about time we look for our next shiny Pokemon. We're already in creative mode, and all we need to do is add some salty and sour her Mystica. Yo, that's some big ass meat. But the next Pokemon that we're looking for is a Black Store Jonah. I think that's how you say it. I don't really know. Somebody Somebody's gonna tell me if it's wrong. And you can see right here, there's a bunch of store joiner freaking spawning. Holy crap, look at all of them. Yeah, oh, this is not good. I just realized that our Pokemon are weak to this type. So if we do get it, we're most likely gonna have to like spawn it somehow. But oh my goodness, yo, this is terrifying. Imagine being surrounded by all of these goddamn stone Pokemon. Oh, we got it. This right here is the black. Oh my, bro, why are you? Oh no, this is not good. This Pokemon is gonna, oh my God, it's level 35. Good thing we have Poke Dolls. Okay, uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it on a screen. Hopefully not to spawn this. And we're gonna try to get behind. Yo, Esparta, please leave me alone. Oh, yo all these people oh my god yo it's part of yo just i'm about to just run into it okay it's only level 23 meaning we could probably survive a hit i'm just gonna go ahead and throw a quick ball and hopefully we can get it please just get in a ball man please 
please, 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 please. No, this is so bad. This is so bad. Rock Tomb, we lost Rumi. Oh my gosh. Yo, I took the chance and threw a quick ball at the storage owner. Oh my goodness. We got we got a black shiny, but we lost one of our Pokemon. But we can go ahead and add stones to our team. Ah, so unfortunately, we had to put Rumi in a death box. But on the bright side, we now have a storage owner that we named Stones. This is our black shiny. It has a minus speed nature with a plus special de defense nature, which is awful, as you can see, because the special defense is ass. All we can do now is just get more Pokemon. All right, it's time to go get our next shiny pokemon and we're just gonna put ham and two salty mysticas not gonna lie this is gonna be the most salty sandwich in existence but as you can see on the top right sparkling powder for ground and encounter power for ground and you can already see our next pokemon is in front of us the sand ghastly i i, I don't really know how to say his name yeah it's kind of taking a little minute of course you know we're hunting for shiny pokemon and everything oh we got one we got one i'm pretty positive this pokemon can't kill us uh i could be wrong though Wait, I can encounter it. I can encounter it. We didn't catch it off guard? How how did that not count? Okay, whatever. Let's throw a quick ball at it. And if we don't get it, we'll just run away. Please. Nice. Okay. <sighs> I'm really not trying to lose any more Pokemon. We're going to need all of these in order to win. But we got our Sandy Gas. So Sando right here has a bold nature, which means his attack is lower. But his defense is high. So we can definitely work with that. So as you can see right here, we are at Lavincia, where we're going to have to do our next gem. And I go went ahead and ate a, an electric type encounter. So we can try to get a black Putrin. Petrin? Yeah, I don't really know. But that Pokemon on right there you see that yellow nose like sea urchin pokemon we're gonna try to get that unfortunately it's just an electric type so this is gonna be a pain in the ass to hunt <gasps> looks like we got a black shiny let's freaking go boys let us freaking go now this is an electric type and it could absolutely destroy me so let me swap the sando just in case it does have an electric type move and it's smart enough to use it this is definitely gonna be hell we're gonna throw our first ultra ball hopefully get in a ball please Oh, so close. Now, hoping that this bulldoze does not kill it. Yes, okay, good. It is half his HP, though. And we catch it. Nice. All right. That now means we have four black Pokemon that we can use. This sea urchin right here, yeah, looks like a bad Pokemon. As you can see, it is a black shiny. But the ability right here, Lightning Rod, is going to definitely be a help for the next gym. It has a bashful nature, meaning it doesn't have any, like, buffs or anything. But I'm really hoping this Pokemon having an immunity can help us win against the Lavincia gym. So here, we're in our next area where we can find a black shiny and it's gonna be Surviper, but uh looks like he is a low catch right here is that a shiny lit leo what the it is yo i've never seen this shiny before the heck i'm not gonna waste a quick ball on this because it should have like a lower catch rate even though it is level 21 yeah okay ultra ball was definitely good enough unfortunately it's a pokemon that we can't use so we're gonna have to put it into the unfortunate box whoa looks like we got a shiny stunky here yeah i'm not gonna lie this viper is taking a long time to get here it's been about an hour now oh my god do you see that monstrosity over there it's a zombie beat it's a zombie deer oh my god Look at this, look at this shit. Oh gosh, I just reminded myself that I'm gonna be doing a green shiny video and I guess I can use one of these. Oh my goodness, this thing looks so cursed. Please just get in a ball. I don't wanna waste any more of the balls on you. Thank you. Oh God. Yeah, we keep getting all of these shiny Pokemon. Everything besides the black shiny Pokemon we need to get right now. <gasps> yes, 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 we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. And you may be asking, is that really a black shiny? Yes, that's a black shiny. That is a black shiny by definition in my books. So much that I'm throwing the quick ball at this shit and it's gonna be on, okay, never mind. Please, poison thing, please don't kill. Okay, that doesn't do a lot of damage, but of course you poison me. Of course you're gonna poison me. Just get in the ball, man. I've been looking for you for some hours. Thank you. Watch us grind for hours for this Pokemon just for it to die instantly. You know what? We're not manifesting that. Just, <laughs> just to be sure we're gonna nickname it Power. So look, I'm not gonna lie, that shiny took an obsessive amount of time, mainly because it just wouldn't spawn, but we managed to catch one, so I'm not complaining. 
getting anymore. And I'm glad that it's actually a black shiny because I was looking at the images and I could not tell if it was black or not, but this is obviously black. <gasps> we finally got one. Yes, let's freaking go, boys. Let's go. This is our next shiny Pokemon. Uh, am I gonna throw a quick ball at it? No, because it's a level seven. That is a waste of a quick ball if I've ever seen one. Because we caught it with a Pokeball, let's freaking go. And everyone welcome Molly the Smolive on our team. Now this shiny Pokemon may be controversial, but as you can see, the only thing that changes about this Pokemon is this olives turning from green, that's the color of his body right now, to black. So let me know down in the comments, is this a black shiny? And would you consider this a black shiny? Or am I just stretching it? That being said, it has a bold nature, which means its defense is increased while its attack is minus, which doesn't really matter because it's a special attacker. But that being said, we got our arsenal of black shiny Pokemon. And just giving it some rare candies right now, we can evolve it. What the hell? Why isn't it not evolving? Game, please evolve. Game, please evolve and please save my progress at least because it looks like the game is frozen. All right, I just restarted my game and let's see if we have the small of on our team still. Yes, we still have it on our team. Let's freaking go. I thought we lost this Pokemon. All right, now we can evolve Molly. And it looks like it's actually working this time. So here we can evolve it to Dollar. But that being said, we've assembled our team of black shiny Pokemon. All six of these Pokemon are the only Pokemon that I'm gonna use right now because I don't wanna hunt for more. And we just gotta hope that they're strong enough to beat the next gym. All right, boys, it's about that time. We gotta go against Iono, finally. Hell yeah, you ready to do this shit? You already know I'm about to beat your ass. Hell yeah, the watch you can't wait to beat me over. Hey, yo, why is she saying that? Aw, oh, nah. So now we gotta go against Iono. And the first Pokemon she sends out is Waterell, and I anticipated that because I sent out Stones. You know, Stones here is a very, very, very fast Pokemon, so I should be able to outspeed it and use Rock Tomb to absolutely destroy her Waterell. But unfortunately, that means the next Pokemon she sends out is Belly Bolt. I hate this Pokemon. And it has a water type move, and this Pokemon does not have any special defense at all. So here we're forced to swap into Molly. <laughs> that is the weirdest name ever. So we can take their water gun. Yeah, that does absolutely nothing, and that's what I like. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a grassy terrain and take their spark, which doesn't do that much damage. And we're able to heal, but unfortunately they're gonna heal too. So this is when I'm gonna use growth to increase my special attack, even though my special attack is already heightened to the max because of, uh, you know, EV training and everything. Take their spark. We're getting super lucky not getting paralyzed, but this is when I'm gonna go ahead and use Mega Drain. That is half of their HP. We're able to get our HP back and their Electromorpheus activates, but on the bright side, we're resistant to that move. Unfortunately, they got healed from that, but we can use Mega Drain again and destroy the Belly Bolt. The next Pokemon that comes out is Luxio. I hate Luxio. It has Intimidate, but it doesn't matter because we're a special attacker and we should be able to use a Mega Drain and hopefully not get flinched by the bite and destroy them. Yeah. I was anticipating that much damage. Belly Bolt, <laughs> yeah, he's just fat and bulky as hell. Oh my God, am I about to lose to a shitty ass grass type with black olives on his head? And finally, her Miss Magius is left. Uh-uh, it's not over yet, bitch. I gotta terrasalize. You already know I'm terrasalizing this bitch right now. And she terrasalizes into an electric type. And then she uses Confuse Ray, outspeeding me. We hit herself in confusion. Oh, this sucks. Now, Molly here is specially defensive, but she's gonna use her electric type move, Charge Beam. Oh no, this is really bad. We're able to take that easily, but her special attack raises. We get super lucky and we snap out of confusion immediately, which is definitely gonna help, but <laughs> She has Charge Beam, the most overpowered freaking move that she could have. She outspeeds me and uses a Confuse Ray again. She's definitely going for the hacks. Holy smokes. Are you serious? What is the point in confusing me? Like, why? We're able to break through and land a Mega Drain, luckily. But she just says F it and uses Charge Beam again. Doing a lot more damage, but yeah, our special defense is just coming through. We're able to snap out of Confusion again and destroy them as Maggie is. Molly is the MVP of this goddamn gym. Let's freaking go boys i want everybody who's watching the stream to subscribe if you think duwaji's a bitch oh yeah and you too watching the video subscribe because this dude really over 
prepared for nothing. Like, damn, why the hell did he have to beat me that bad? Hey, uh, by the way, I'm the champion of this region, and I can't lie. You are a bitch. Why did you overlevel and over EV train your Pokemon like that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you suck. Okay, bro. I cannot. <laughs> okay, here we go again. We're just getting bullied by everybody in this goddamn region right now. All right, so for the next gym leader we have to go against, we have to go against Kofu. He has an arsenal of a bunch of water type Pokemon that could absolutely destroy us, but we do have some tools on our team. But now it is time that we go against Kofu. And he immediately sends out Belooza as we send out our Urchi. Now here we're just gonna use Curse. I know this Pokemon's gonna be faster than me. Hope, yep, we're able to take that easily, decrease our speed, and increase our attack and defense. And knowing that this Pokemon is a physical attacker, as long as we don't get crit, we'll take less and less damage every time. Meaning as long as I don't get crit and recover at the right time, I won't die. But now that we're two times stronger and we don't get crit, we're able to one-shot this Belooza with Spark. The next Pokemon that comes out is Wugtrio. This is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game and it has a water type move. Aw, oh, and we get confused. Come on, bruh. Come on, please don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. This is really bad that we got confused though. Okay, yeah, that really sucks. Ideally, what we wanna do is just keep recovering until we get out of confusion and hit him. Yes, we get snapped out of confusion, we're able to get to recover off. So if we use Spark, take the Water Pulse, do not get confused, hopefully. Of course, he confuses me again. All right, this is really bad if we hit him. And we don't, we just hit ourselves in confusion. All right, this game wants to freaking hacks me. That's pretty awesome. We take another water pulse and hopefully we can get the recover off, break through the confusion, please? And we do. Come on, Bug Trio. I'm gonna I'm need you to just get smacked. Yes, we snap out of confusion, meaning we can land the spark and one shot the Bug Trio. That's the gooey ability, but it doesn't even matter. Urchi's like super slow. Haha, <laughs> you really think you're him, huh? Go crab abominable. You already know I'm terrestrializing right, right now. now. You, think you think you're hot, hot shit? shit. You you think you're him? <laughs> Let me Let show you that you're not. You really, you really think you're that because, because you're over level. level. You use crab hammer. Yeah, oh, that literally didn't do anything. But yeah, we're able to one shot him with Spark. What the hell? Why are you so over leveled? Oh my god, you really are a bitch. Yeah, if your Pokemon were the same level as me, that wouldn't have happened. Well, okay, look, look, look. You don't understand, Kofu, man. No, you don't understand. You're just a bitch. All right, so next we gotta go against Larry. Of course, he is all normal type Pokemon that actually pack a punch and definitely hands down has one of the strongest teams that we're gonna have to go against right now. But before we take on Larry, let's go ahead and look for a new shiny Pokemon. As you can see, I ate a fire encounter sandwich. So we're looking for shiny new males so we can get a shiny camera. The only bad thing about hunting for the shiny is that you could barely tell it's shiny, but hopefully I'll be able to identify it when it comes. Aw, uh, looks like we found one. I thought I thought I was gonna be <laughs> I thought I was gonna miss it, but it was uh, pretty easy to identify. But this Pokemon is definitely worth a quick ball. So please get in a ball. This is my last quick ball, and it's really hard to find them. Nice. First ball, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're in the cafe right now, but we can go ahead and evolve Newell to a black shiny camera. Yeah, ignore that tags on the background. I wanted to get this Pokemon because it's just super defensive and I'm gonna go ahead and EV train this Pokemon before we take on the next gym But I just realized there's a mark on stones They have the uncommon mark, but the rest of my Pokemon doesn't have a mark But here now we can go against Larry Hopefully our team is good enough to beat Larry But he sends out Kamala as we send out our stones the sociable holy shit stones is huge as hell Look how big he is, but we're gonna immediately start off by getting sucker punched and landing a rock to making him slower and being able to outspeed them the next turn and take out Kamala. Now Dun and Sparse comes out, and I know this Pokemon has a ground type move, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap into Olaid, anticipating for him to use that ground type move. But no, they just paralyzed me, which really sucks. Dun and Sparse has a lot of attack, so I'm gonna go ahead and Feather Dance, and somehow I'm faster than him even though I'm paralyzed, which is awesome. They Hyper Drill, and yeah, that does absolutely no damage. Oh, and then we break through the paralysis because of love. Hey, yo, unfortunately, we just get paralyzed again after them dodging an air slash, which really sucks. But finally, we can land an air slash as a hyper drill, and then we dodge it because of love, and then take them out with a crit. Next, a raptor comes out and intimidates me immediately. 
Here, I'm gonna go ahead and swap the stones, anticipating for Larry to terrestrialize into a normal type. He outspeeds us and immediately uses Facade. But luckily, we have a lot of defense and we resist that, meaning we're able to outspeed Seraptor and use this Rock Tomb as we get hit with Facade again, but it absolutely doesn't do anything. It does a decent amount of damage though, as you can tell. But after that, we're able to finally beat Larry. Let's freaking go, boys. You already know I overprepared for these videos. We got Larry sad. But here the real challenge begins because, yeah, you gotta go against Nomoda. Oh, looks like you gotta go against this b again. You know, the guy who's uh, over-preparing all of his battles because he's scared to lose a Pokemon Nuzlocke. Yeah, do was your b why are you so scared to lose? I mean, <laughs> who cares if you spent hours trying to get the shiny Pokemon? Yeah, you are a b all right, these trainers are talking way too much shit. Let's go ahead and put Nomoda in the dirt. She sends out Lycanroc as we send out stones. I heard what you said, Duwaji. Here, yeah, we don't really have a move to touch this, but we're gonna go ahead and take their Acelarok and use Rock Tomb, taking half of their HP despite it being resisted, which is crazy. Oh, wait, no, it, it's now it's actually neutral. I did not know Rock was neutral to Rock. Uh, I wish I knew that before. But anyways, Gumi comes out now. And yeah, our special defense is really bad, so we're forced to just one-shot that. As Pomo comes out. Now, Pomo is a fighting type, so I'm most likely going to just go ahead and swap the Sando. As to use Thunder Wave, but it doesn't really do anything. So we're able to just use Giga Drain on this. And it looks like they don't even have a move to touch me. So I'm able to just take their Arm Thrust and Giga Drain. Yeah, it's over now, Duwaji. I have I one have of the one most one broken, broken Pokemon, Pokemon in the game. game. Meow Star. Yeah, Miascarta comes out, so we're gonna go ahead and swap to Ole. Anticipating for- Yeah, you already know what I'm doing right now, bitch! I'm terrestrializing this bitch right now! Go, Miascarta, grass type terrestrialization form! And you already know that he's the most broken move ever! Flower trick! And we're able to take that because we are four times resistant. If we were not four times resistant, yeah, you already know we would be in a dirt right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and outspeed her and use Revelation Dan. <laughs> Letting a crit because of love. Oh my god, why are you such a fucking cheater? What the fuck was that battle? Well, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we we're able to absolutely destroy Nimona this time. But now we gotta go against Rhyme, the ghost type gym leader. We're forced to do a double battle and she has some very strong Pokemon on her team. Don't really know if my team's gonna be able to even touch her team. I mean, offensively speaking, we have some pretty defensive Pokemon. But before then, we can go ahead and evolve our Sando to this next evolution, Palosan. And I can't lie, yeah, this is an awesome Black Shiny. You can't go wrong with this. This is actually one of my favorite Black Shinies on my team right now. So you guys remember rule number one of this run? Fuck rule number one. I just realized we have Pokemon home now. Meaning, if I look over to my left, you see we have a freaking Charmander and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I mean, look at this thing. This thing looks freaking awesome. I can't believe this is in the game. Hey, yo. And right here, we have our infamous Japanese ditto. You know, the one that we used for previous videos. <gasps> and we finally caught one. We finally uh, hatched one. Let's freaking go, boys. So let's go ahead and welcome Flame to the team. Flame here has a modest nature, which means its attack is lowered, but a special attack is raised. And its EVs are looking crazy. What the hell? I didn't even use like a Destiny Knot or anything. But of course, we can go ahead and give it some rare candies and evolve it to a black shiny Charizard. I had to add this to the team. A lot of people in the comment section were saying they love Charizard, so this is for you guys. I broke the rules just for you guys. Look at his face. This is the most intimidating Pokemon ever. But now we made our way to Monteverde. But you already know, we gotta flex with the black Charizard on the field, using Heat Wave and destroying everything. We're making little kids cry. But now it's time to go against Rhyme. And you already know, she's sending out her Mimikyu and her Bayonet as we send out our Stones and Flame. Damn, you got some fly ass Pokemon. Why'd I give her that voice? Anyways, we get Shadow Sneak by Mimikyu. We're able to take that because we're hella defensive and we use Heat Wave, only hitting the Mimikyu, unfortunately, unfortunately, but breaking their disguise in the process. Then we use Rock Slide and we're able to knock down both of the Pokemon to have. But they use Icy Wind, dropping both of my Pokemon's speed. And then she gets a crowd boost. That's pretty crazy. Anyways, we get hit by Shadow Sneak again. We're taking some massive chip damage. We get Sucker Punch, but then we were able to land the Heat Wave on Mimikyu. Bayonet dodges it, which really sucks, but we're able to land this Rock Slide on Bayonet and kill them. Meaning both of her Pokemon go down this turn. Next, her Toxtricity comes out and her Houndstone comes out. I'm not gonna lie, this combination is definitely gonna be deadly, but the crowd 
Cloud boosts our attack and special attack, which is definitely going to come in handy. And now, Rhyme is going to terrestrialize her Toxtricity into a ghost type. Oh, I might lose a Pokemon here. He use, she uses Discharge, and we lose Stones. Oh my god. Yo, I thought we were going to lose Charizard there, but no, it was Stones because this special attack just sucks. Oh my gosh. I was not anticipating that. But we're able to land the Heat Wave on Toxtricity, almost killing them. But now we're in the pickle. Here I go ahead and send out Newell, and she's going to get a crowd boost, raising her attack, defense, special attack, and special defense, and speed. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> We may lose another Pokemon. We may even lose this freaking battle. Oh my God. Okay, so here we're gonna swap out Flame because he's gonna die if we don't swap him out. And we're gonna swap into Molly. Oh my God, Rob is beating my ass right now. She uses Hex, but we're able to use her immunity to dodge it as we take a Phantom Power and we're able to take out the Toxtricity with the Earth Power. Now the Houndstones left and they're paralyzed, meaning we're most likely gonna be faster than them. But they were faster than us, but they get paralyzed lucky us so we're able to use energy ball chip them down and then finish off the houndstone with the earth power ah <sighs> unfortunately we lost our second pokemon in the run which was a freaking beast we really needed stones on our team but on the bright side we beat rhyme this unfortunately means we have to put stones into the death box which oh man this pokemon was going to carry us it's just very unfortunate that this pokemon special defense is that bad like he had like over half of his hp and he died to a discharge and it wasn't even stabbed no wonder look at his special defense but on the bright side we do have some more black shiny pokemon in the box did we just encounter another shiny Oh, okay. Uh, wait, let me swap. <laughs> Because Charizard can die to this, even though it's half its level. But yep, yeah, we can go ahead and throw Ultra Ball at that Pokemon and get this Roly Coley. Now, this Roly Coley is obviously like a grayish blue. I would definitely lean on it being uh, navy blue. But just to be sure, I'm going to look at its third evolution. So this is his second evolution, Shiny. And looking at his final evolution, we can get a good judge to see if this is the Black Shiny. I would definitely not say it is a black shiny. If anything, it's like gray, grayish blue, like a navy blue or something. I don't really know, but uh, I'll keep it in the box. Worst case scenario, you guys be the judge. And yeah, just tell me if you think this Pokemon qualifies as a black shiny or not. I don't think so. But that now means we can make our way to all for nada. But of course, before we can even take on Tulip, we gotta go against Nimona. She immediately sends out her Lycanroc as we send out Newell. Uh, knowing that we're super effective, as she uses Sand Attack and we use Earthquake, but they dodge it. Oh my God, yo, that Sand Attack made me freaking miss. And then she flinches me with Rock Slide. Yo, what are you doing? Oh, okay, I'm half health. Dude, why she keeps flinching me? What is she? What does she got? Serene Grace? What's going on? Yo, we got to swap, bro. We got to swap. We got to We have no choice but to swap. Okay, we send out Sando. As we take a sand attack, which sucks. Yo, why is she haxing so hard? She uses Crunch, but we're very defensive. And she dodges the Giga Dream. Come on, bro. And then she sand attacks again. Come on, bro. There's no way. Thank you. I can land a Giga Dream. Next, the Sligo comes out. Oh, my goodness. What? She hacks me so hard. And here, I'm kind of forced to just swap to Ole. Here, we're able to outspeed them and use Air Slash. During half of their HP, take another Dragon Pulse. That takes us right above half HP. But we're able to land another Air Slash. But here, now her Palmot comes out. And yeah, we don't really have a resist other than our Sando. You know, it being a ground type. But we're able to dodge that Thunder Wave. And this Pokemon can't even hit us. So we're able to just bulldoze it. Lowering its speed and take it out again now it's over to Waji. now here we're kind of forced to just swap into flame because it's four times resisted the grass and you already know yeah you do already know i'm terrestrializing this bitch right now go meals guard on grass type terrestrialization of the power form meals guard you already know what to do use the most overpowered flower tree 
Unfortunately, we were able to take her move with ease and I'll speed her the very next turn to use a flamethrower. Nice. Being able to beat Nomona with ease. <sighs> After a long ass time, it's time to go against Tulip, the fake ass Ariana Grande of this Pokemon verse. Anyways, we sent out Sando as their fat and that giraffe Pokemon comes out. You really like talking shit, huh? And yeah, here we're gonna go ahead and just. And she sets up the reflect as we go ahead and just use Iron Defense, multiplying her defense by two. We take a crunch and we're able to Earth Power and do 80% of her HP. We take another crunch and we're able to take her out. Now her next Pokemon comes out, Gardevoir. They're able to outspeed me and use Energy Ball, doing a big chunk of my HP. But I'm able to use Shadow Ball and one-shot her. Holy sp I didn't think it was gonna do that. Next Pokemon that comes out is Sparda. I decide to stay in and take their Shadow Ball. Oh, this is not good. Okay, we're able to take it, but the special defense drop comes in and we're able to retaliate with our own Shadow Ball and take them out. But see, now we're in a pickle. Damn right you're in a pickle. My ace is coming out. Go Florages! I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what kind of moves she has, but I do know we're gonna have to swap. I mean, look at our HP. So I think our best bet is Newell. Only because Newell's special defense is maxed out. Oh yeah, stack top, B! I'm terrestrializing this bitch right now into a very, wait, a psychic type, I mean. I forgot what terrestrialization form I had. Use Moonblast! But we're able to take that, and that does absolutely nothing. So this was the best switch in. No, it isn't, bitch! I'm using Psychic! And she uses Psychic on me, and oh! Okay, we're able to take that and retaliate with the Earthquake. Doing 80% of her HP, and hopefully, we can take another Psychic. Don't crit, don't crit. Okay, barely. Well, I mean, a decent amount. And we're able to kill her with the earthquake meaning we just got the seventh gym badge let's freaking go boys we're so close to being done with the game but now we have to make our way to the glissado gym and go against the final gym the ice type gym as you can see they have a pretty stacked team and they have the highest level pokemon we have to go against you know them being the last gym leader and all but we should be able to do this with our pokemon we can start the battle and they send out frost moth as we send out flame you already know i'm sending out charizard hey little dude that's a fire ass charizard i'm not even gonna cap with you <laughs> hey even my boy Groose is hyping me up but we're gonna immediately start the battle with a flamethrower on this frost moth and it's four times weak so yeah you already know that shit's dead now of course the next pokemon that comes out is setian and i I already know that this Pokemon has stick fat, meaning it's resisted the fire, so we're just gonna use Air Slash instead. As we take a liquidation, hoping we don't die, nice, and we're able to outspeed them and land another ice air slash. Now his next Pokemon comes out, Beer Tank. I know this Pokemon has liquidation also, but hopefully we have enough power to take down the Beer Tick. And we do. Nice. Last but definitely not least, I heard you nick. Go Altaria. You already you know. know. I'm, I'm in this, this bitch right, right now. now. I'm, I'm terrestrializing into an ice type Pokemon. Pokemon. Go Altaria, ice type terrestrialization form. That really shouldn't be on Altaria in the first place. But we outspeed them and use flamethrower. And we're able to <laughs> we're able to just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no, nah, Duwaji. I know damn well you ain't laughing at me. Look at you. You over here over leveling all your Pokemon because you're scared to lose them. In conclusion, you're a b Uh, well, we got the eighth gym badge. Now we gotta go against the Elite Four, but it seems like I don't have any of these people's respect. But now it's time to take on the Elite Four. And of course, we're just gonna go ahead and speed through all these because we have to beat four people back to back. And the first Elite Four member we gotta go against is Rika. We send out Wish Cash as we send out Molly trying to get it popping you already know we immediately just use we dodge the blizzard that comes out and use that energy ball to retaliate yeah that blizzard was gonna hit hard but the next pokemon that comes out is camera and i know that this pokemon is probably gonna use yawn trying to intimidate me i don't really know but i'm taking the risk and i'm gonna use an energy ball outspeeding them doing 80 percent of their hp as they do yawn like i was anticipating so that means i'm able to energy ball and take out the camera at the cost of my Pokemon going to sleep. Now Donphan comes out. And here I don't really have a good Pokemon to swap into, so I decided to just swap into Sando. As they use Poison Jab, but we're able to resist that and we're very defensive. Meaning, the very next turn we can take our Earthquake and then Giga Drain to get all of our HP back. We take another Earthquake and Giga Drain again, getting most of our HP back. Now Doug Trio comes out. Doug Trio is super fast, so we decide to use Sandstorm, but that doesn't matter to me. I'm able to just use Giga Drain and get all my HP back. Last but not least, Claude Sire comes out, and Rika immediately terrestrializes into a ground tank, using Protect, blocking our Giga Drain, unfortunately. But the next turn, we're able to outspeed them and do a good amount of chip. 
But now they use a Terrasalize boosted Earthquake on me. And I'm able to eat it up. And yeah, this happens over and over again. You know, us getting hit by an earthquake. But finally, we're able to use Giga Drain and take out the Clot Sire, beating the first Elite Four. And you already know Rika salty as fuck. So next, we gotta go against this little girl using all Steel type Pokemon. And her name is Poppy. She immediately sends out Kapuraja as we send out Newell. Or Newell? I don't remember what I was trying to name this Pokemon. But I just used Lava pl Plume. I didn't mean to use that. And then the next turn, I'm able to outspeed and use Earthquake. The next Pokemon that comes out is Bronzong. I decided to just use Lava Plume, doing half of their HP as they Earthquake, and that does a ton to me. But luckily, we're faster than this Bronzong somehow, so we're able to take them out. And of course, the next Pokemon that comes out is Corviknight. Unfortunately, Newell doesn't have that much defense, so them using a Brave Bird almost takes us out. But we're able to get a Lava Plume, doing a majority of their HP, but we're forced to swap here. So this is when I decide to swap into Sando. Sando was physically defensive and specially defensive. So this Brave Bird coming out is not gonna kill us. Meaning we can take another Brave Bird, getting knocked down the half of her HP and retaliate with a Shadow Ball. But now the next Pokemon that comes out is Magnezone. And I know this Magnezone right here is programmed to you, okay, never mind. He uses Flash Cannon, almost kills me, and then we knock them down to their sturdy. So now we're kind of in a pickle. We're forced to swap. So we swap them all in, and we take a Flash Cannon, and it does a lot of HP, but the Seed Sour sets up the terrain for us. We take another Flash Cannon, and then we take them out with Energy Ball. And finally, her last Pokemon comes out, Tinkaton. And it's looking like Molly only has 61 HP, so I'm kind of forced to swap, but I don't really have a Switch in or anything. And because she has rocks, that means my flying type Pokemon are gonna take 25%. So this is when I decided to swap into Urchi. As Poppy decides to Terrasalize her Tinkaton into a Steel type Pokemon. And she uses a Terrasalize boosted Gigaton Hammer on me. Ooh, doing a ton of damage. Luckily, we're able to resist that. And we do have recover on this Pokemon, meaning we can guarantee survive this Stone Edge. Ooh, that does a lot. And use Curse, increasing our defense even further. The grassy terrain helps us survive this Gigaton Hammer. Hopefully, yes, we do. And we're able to recover, getting 50% of our HP back and an additional 6% from the grassy terrain. But now we're kind of in a pickle. We have to hope that we do not get crit by the Stone Edge and we can get another Curse off. Meaning now we take half damage damage from her attacking moves. She uses a Gigaton Hammer doing a ton of damage to me, but then we're able to retaliate with a Zing Zap and crit her. She then play roughs, but we're able to recover before getting knocked down, bringing us back to 109 HP, giving us the ability to take a Gigaton Hammer and then take her out with a Zip Zap. Zing Zap? You guys know what I meant. But just like that, we beat Poppy without losing a single Pokemon. The next Elite Four member we have to go against is Larry again. And yeah, apparently this guy was an Elite Four member and he has flying types or something. Yeah. Doesn't make that much sense to me, but they send out their Tropius as we send out Olay. Damn, you got some fly ass black shiny Pokemon. You already know, but immediately we're able to outspeed them and use Revolution Dance and take them down to 80% as they use Sunny Day, only making me stronger. <laughs> we're able to take out the Tropius. The next Pokemon that comes out is Staraptor and intimidates me, but it doesn't matter because I'm a special attacker. So I'm able to outspeed the Staraptor and take them down in one hit because of the Revelation Dance. Let's go. The next Pokemon that comes out is Oricorio. Unfortunately, my Olay has a relaxed nature, meaning it has a minus speed nature. This Oricorio has a high chance to be faster than me. Although the sun is up, it would probably be in my best interest to just swap. So I do so. I decide to swap Olay out for Newell, hoping that this Pokemon just uses an electric type move. But no, they just use Teeter Dance, meaning I'm confused now. We're able to take their Air Slash and break through the confusion and use Rock Slide as the sun wears off. We take another Air Slash and we're able to break through the flinch in confusion and take out the Oricorio with the Rock Slide. The next Pokemon that comes out is Altaria. Newell here is special defensive like we said earlier, so this Dragon Pulse shouldn't be enough to take us out. And we're able to retaliate with a Rock Slide. But here, I was looking for a Pokemon I would be able to switch in for the next Pokemon that's gonna come out because Larry has some strong ass Pokemon. But we decide to take another Dragon Pulse and then take them down with the Rock Slide. But it's most definitely not over yet. You know damn well it isn't over yet. Go Flamingo! Yep, it's a Flamingo, one of the most broken fighting flying types in existence. And this Flamingo right here has the Scrappy ability, meaning it can hit ghost types. So it would actually be best if I decide to swap into a Pokemon that can retaliate accordingly. So I decide to swap Noel to Olay. As Larry decides to Terrasalize into a flying type, 
They used liquidation, which was the worst move that could have. I didn't even know this thing had liquidation. That's not good. Knowing that they're most likely going to use liquidation again, and like we said earlier, we're a relaxed nature, meaning that our defense is higher. I'm confident. I'm confident enough to stay in. I'm confident enough to stay in and just air slash. We're able to land the air slash, but they actually decide to use a terrestrialized boosted Brave Bird, meaning I'm dead. Oh no. Oh, uh, that was kind of stupid. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I thought they're going to use liquidation, but if they see the kill, they're going to kill me. But we take another Brave Bird from Sando, and I should have swapped into Sando in the first place. I'm not going to lie. We just lost Olay for no reason. But we're able to take out the Flamingo, meaning we beat the third Elite Four member. And you know what that means. We have to put Olay into the death box. Ah, uh, that sucks. And it's looking really bad because now we're down to our last six Black Shiny Pokemon. To be fair, our black shiny lineup is looking pretty fire, if I do have to say so myself. Call me crazy, but I'm going to start the battle with Power, and Power here has a Citrus Berry on it. Now, Hasso here has all Dragon-type Pokemon, and the first Pokemon they decide to send out is Noivern, as we send out Power. Noivern's definitely faster than me, so I'm able to take a Dragon Pulse. Oh my god, that did so much damage. I wasn't anticipating that much damage at all. And we're able to use Ice Fang and kill them on one shot because they're four times weak to it. Now, the next Pokemon that comes out is Dragly. This Pokemon has a lot of attack. So this is when I decide to swap Power out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're swapping Sando back in. There we go. As we take a Dragon Pulse, and it does a decent amount of damage because I'm pretty sure this Pokemon has adaptability. I don't really know. But then they use a Hydro Pump. We're able to take that because of our special defense, but we're able to retaliate with our Earth Power. At this point, it's not looking good. We can't take a Hydro Pump, so we're forced to swap into Molly, our Grass-type Pokemon. So we're able to take a Hydro Pump. That does nothing, and we're able to get the terrain up. Unfortunately, that does mean that they get healed from our Grassy terrain. And I know that Dragly isn't that fast, so we should be able to take out this Pokemon with a... No, we don't. We take a freaking Sludge Bomb. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Now we should be able to take down this Dragly with the Energy Ball. I know they're very defensive and resisted, so yeah. That made sense that it survived that. But the next Pokemon that comes out is Flapple. Damn, I really wish we had Olay on our team. This would be an awesome Pokemon to swap into. But on the bright side, we can swap Molly out and then swap out Flame, our Charizard. We take a Dragon Rush that does a ton of damage, but the next turn we're able to retaliate with a Flamethrower. Almost taking them out as they Dragon Rush again and crit me, meaning we lose flame. Holy sh- are you kidding me? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, we probably should have swapped in power. I mean, at least we can outspeed it and kill it with a poison jab. The next Pokemon that comes out is Haxorus. And I already know that this Pokemon is Earthquake, but I kinda don't have a switch in anymore. So we're forced to stay in an Ice Fang. As they just Dragon Claw, and they, they one-shot me. Holy shit. Holy crap. All right, it's looking like we're going to lose. <laughs> I don't know how in the world we're going to win this. Well, we have no choice but to swap an Urchi. And we already know this Pokemon has a lot of freaking attack. But we're going to take our chances, take the Dragon Claw, and curse. Holy crap, boys. We're down to like four Pokemon. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this or for real. They use Dragon Claw again, and it does too much damage. Holy smokes. Why do they do so much damage? I think we lose here. I think we lose Urchi here. Let's try to recover. They use Dragon Claw, and we survive on one HP. <laughs> Let's freaking go. That means we're able to recover 50% of our HP, and we're forced to do it again. They use Dragon Claw, and we're able to survive. Yes, sir. Let's go, boys. Let's get this shit. We have no choice but the hope that we do not get crit by this Dragon Claw and use Curse again. I'm going to be real. This is the only way we're going to win. We have to curse one more time and not get crit. We don't get crit, and we're able to get the curse off. We gotta hope that we don't get crit one more time. We don't. Nice. That means we can recover 50% of our HP. Unfortunately, Urchin is really slow, so we take another Dragon Claw. We don't get crit, luckily, and we're able to Zing Zap. Not doing that much damage at all. So, we just gotta keep on going and hang on. We're able to do more damage the next turn and take another Dragon Claw and take out Haxorus. Now Bax Calibur comes out. And I'm not gonna lie, it's looking like we just lose this. We already know that this Pokemon is gonna Terrasilize into a Dragon type and his attack is just stupid high. We don't really have that many defensive Pokemon on our team to take this. We don't have any at all. This is our only Pokemon, but as you can see, we were, we're out of recover, so we can't even heal anymore. Hassel's gonna Terrasilize into a Dragon type and we just have to 
hope that we survive the next move somehow. And he uses Glaive Rush, and it's Trash Lights boosted. Oh yeah, this is, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Urchie goes down, this is bad. On the bright side, I believe Molly should be faster than this. No, it isn't. We died to an Icicle Crash. But now we get the Grassy Terrain up. <laughs> that actually hurts me. Because that means when I send out Newell, our Earthquake is going to be 50% weaker. Well, uh... Let's use Rock Slide. <laughs> As I use Glaive Rush. And we're able to barely survive and use Rock Slide. <laughs> that didn't do anything at all. That was double the freaking damage too. Oh my god. Yo, it's looking like we just lose this. We just lose. We just lose. They Glaive Rush and take us out. Oh my god. Now, this is our final Pokemon, Sando. The only way we can survive this or win at all is if we survive this somehow. Yep, that doesn't happen. And that means we lose the run. Well, that's it. We failed the challenge with black shiny Pokemon only. To be fair, I did make some stupid decisions while in the battle and we lost some Pokemon that were very unnecessary. Like Olay could have definitely outsped that Pokemon and just like killed it. So yeah, unfortunately that's the end of the video. But if you guys did enjoy the video and you're new here, you know you gotta subscribe because I make videos just like this every single week. This does mean we lose a run. Before we leave, we're gonna go ahead and show you all of the Pokemon that I caught that were black shiny Pokemon. Although the level cap was above six levels i didn't get to evolve all of them but we evolved most of them and that's what matters most <laughs> we even cheated and bended the rules with a freaking black charizard and still lost and these are the other shiny pokemon that aren't black that we managed to catch throughout the run and i'm not gonna lie <laughs> some of them are really awesome and i would have loved using them for the game but they're not black shiny pokemons and that's the prerequisite of being able to battle with them that means the video is over but as you can see it took us 60 hours just to do that you probably see why i didn't want to beat the whole entire game last video where we beat the whole entire game uh <laughs> that took 100 so yeah and it seems like we encountered 26 shiny pokemon so if you guys counted that good job uh we probably saw more and i'm pretty sure you guys can go th go throughout the video and count them but that's it thank you for watching